Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous video we have discussed what are finite sets, what are infinite sets and various properties. Let's see one more context over here that is what is countable set and uncountable sets. The question asks us to explain what is countable and uncountable set with certain examples. What do you mean by a set is countable? Is it same as finite and infinite? Let us see. So what exactly does this mean? This set is infinite but still countable. Let us see the actual classification of sets on these two properties. Finite, infinite, countable, uncountable. A set is initially either finite or infinite. Example of a finite set would be just 3, 4 numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, that's it. An infinite set could be either countably infinite or uncountably infinite. What do you mean by countably infinite? A set in which we can enumerate the particular set in a given order, we say that the set is countably infinite. In natural number, I have an order to write. For example, 1 followed by 2 followed by 3 followed by 4 and so on. If someone asks me what will be the position of so and so number, I can give an answer exactly. But certain sets, it is not possible. We will see those sets. For countably infinite, let's take an example of natural numbers. What about real numbers? Can we really see the position of any real number in the set of all real numbers? No. Let's see how is it possible. Over here, I'm taking real number as an example. Let's see the difference between the set of natural numbers and set of real numbers. Let's write down the sets first. This is the set containing natural number. How to find set of real numbers? Let's try to give them position. We know that real number would contain all the natural number itself in it. Between 1 and 2, do we have other numbers? Yes. Let us write down them. Let's say 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3 and so on. Similarly, between 2 and 3, we have various other numbers. I think we can enumerate real numbers. Not really. Between 1.1, 1.2, do we have other numbers still? Yes, we have numbers like 1.11, 1.12, 1.13 and so on. In fact, given any two real numbers, between them I can write infinitely many real numbers. And hence, there is no way to enumerate the real number. There is no order in which you can actually one after the other real numbers. You cannot index them. These types of sets are called uncountably infinite sets. We said that finite sets contain finite number of elements. We saw an example, the set containing just four digits over here, one, two, three, four is an example of finite set. If the set is not finite, definitely it is infinite. It contains many number of elements. Given a set is infinite, maybe it is countable or it is uncountable. If it is having a one-to-one -one correspondence between natural number, that means we can index them using one, two, three, four, and so on, or we can order the elements in a particular way, whether it is finite or infinite doesn't matter, that particular set is countable. But if there is no way to enumerate it down, then we say that the particular set is uncountable. So given infinite set, it may be countable or uncountable. Over here we discussed that countable sets are natural numbers which are still infinite but real numbers are infinite but not countable. Let's see more examples of this. First set, the statement says that A is a set of all values of x such that square root of x is a natural number and x must be less than or equal to 1024. Let's try to write down this set and find whether it is finite, infinite countable, uncountable, etc. This particular set, would it end? It will. Because it will finish at some number which is having square root less than or equal to 1024. Let's write down the properties of this set. Is this set finite? Yes. If it is finite, by default it is countable. A contains set of all powers of 2 such that x is less than or equal to 10. 
what would be these numbers again this set is going to end at some point it contains finite number of elements set b is finite as well as countable b contains set of all values of y such that y is equal to x plus 1 and x is a natural number what would b contain the first natural number possible is 1 1 plus 1 b will start with 2 it would contain 3 it would contain 4 5 and so on let's check whether this set b is countable uncountable finite infinite etc definitely the set is not finite because it contains uncountable number of elements so the first point is b is infinite second question is b countable can we index every element yes we can say index of 2 is 1 index of 3 is 2 index of 4 is 3 given any element of y let's say 1000 i can say the index is 999 we can index every element simply means that set b is countable the language l contains set of all strings of the form a to the power n b to the power n having n greater than or equal to 1 we know the elements are going to be the question is is this set countable can we index every element actually yes a b let it be indexed with 1 2 a's followed by 2 b's would have an index 2 3 a's followed by 3 b's would have index 3 and so on let us take any string we know that string is of the form a to the power i b to the power i can we find an index yes the index would be the number i as we can index every string in this particular language we can say that this language or this set is countably infinite let's see the next example let's say the power set of natural number is the set finite infinite countable uncountable let us answer these questions first let us write down the set 2 to the power n first as it's a power set it would contain null it would contain all single valued elements like 1, 2, 3, etc. It might contain all elements with two numbers in it. Definitely this set is infinite. But is this set countable? We saw that natural numbers are though infinite are countable. But there are no way to actually enumerate the elements of this set which is the power set of natural number and hence this set is uncountable if you try to index you will again find that the case is similar to real numbers between any two element you might write various elements using any rule and hence this particular set is uncountable over here we have discussed the aspects of finite sets infinite sets we saw that under infinite set the given set might be countable or uncountable if it has a one-to-one -one correspondence with natural number it is mostly countable otherwise it is uncountable we will use these concepts in terms of languages and turing machine to prove certain properties of recursive and recursively enumerable languages thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ikira and do subscribe